Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up your Apple Watch Series 7 for the first time. So before we begin, you need to have your iPhone uh, close by so that you can set up your Apple Watch. Press and hold on the side button to turn on the Apple Watch. Once you turn on, just wait for a few seconds. Now you will need to have at least an iPhone 6S or newer in order for you to pair with your Apple Watch. And your device needs to have iOS 15. So say bring iPhone near Apple Watch. And you can see on the iPhone, it will pop up Apple Watch. Now tap on continued. Now you in here, you can choose set up for myself, uh, set up for a family member. I'm going to choose set up for myself. And I say position Apple Watch in the frame. So we use this phone and then we're just going to scan the picture on the watch. Okay, so once it detects an Apple Watch, you can then tap on set up Apple Watch. And then tap on if you are left hand side or right hand side person. And then tap on continued. Okay, now it's a connecting your Apple Watch. This may take a moment. Okay, next we're going to tap on agreed in the terms and conditions. Okay, so now it says signing into your account. This may take a few minutes. So basically it's going to copy some of the settings from your iPhone and it will bring over to the Apple Watch. Okay, next we can choose to enable or disable location services. So we can uh, tap on enable if you wanted to, or we can do that later on, so disable location services. Next, you can choose to use Siri or don't use Siri. I'm, I'm going to choose don't use Siri for now. And here we can uh, choose to share with Apple or don't share your, your data with Apple. I'm going to choose don't share. Next, tap on OK. And next, we can choose both text and size. So you can choose the size of your text. You can see as soon as I change the text size on the phone, it also changes the, changes the text size on the watch. Okay. And next, we can choose continued. And in here, you can set up Apple Watch passcode. So we can create a passcode now. So I'm going to key in the passcode on the watch. Okay, that's done. So now I ask, do I want to set up activity or do I want to skip for now? So I'm going to choose skip for now. And black, uh, black oxygen, do you want to enable or set up later? So you can see that you can use blood oxygen app to check your blood oxygen levels. You can also measure levels throughout the day. So I'm going to choose set up later. And here, you can choose to uh, keep your Apple Watch up to date by tapping on the continued or you can choose to install the update later. I'm going to choose install updates later manually. Okay, on the next screen, Ash, do you want to set up Apple Pay? If you want to set up Apple Pay, you can tap on continued. Uh, I'm going to choose set up later in the Apple Watch app. And next, it's got heart rate notifications, high heart rate notifications, and low heart rate notifications. Tap on continued, then tap on continued on the emergency SOS. So you can press and hold the side button to call emergency services if your Apple Watch is connected to your iPhone. This will also send message message to your emergency contacts. 
It also has the fall detection, which can call emergency services if Apple Watch detects a hard fall. Fall detection is designed to recognize falls that happen as you get older and you can enable it in the Apple Watch app. Now tap on continued and always on display, so you can have always on display on your watch. Tap on continued and in here it says install available apps. Some apps on your iPhone work with your Apple Watch. You can install this all these apps now or choose the apps you want later in the Apple Watch app. So I'm going to choose uh, choose later and then in here you can choose grid view or list view. So select one of the options and tap on continued. And here we got Apple Watch syncing. So get to know your watch. And that's it. So say discover, get started. So some information uh, about your watch. And that's it. Finally, we can tap on the done button uh, to finish. And I'm just going to swipe up and the watch it will now be syncing the data between your phone and the watch. And that's it. Uh, that's how you can uh, set up your Apple Watch Series 7 uh, with your iPhone. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Okay, so here it is after it has uh, finished setting up. And this is the interface of the watch. So you got the heart rate, you got settings, you got the audio settings, calculators, and a bunch of heaps of apps, workout apps, uh, the clock timer, chat messages, email, cameras, mail, and a bunch of other things. So you can, this is the kind of like a lock screen. And in here, you can go into settings. And in settings, there are heaps of things that you can set uh, on your Apple Watch. And that's it. Thank you for watching.